How's it going, everybody? We're back in One Way Bay, and that was definitely a new intro. I still don't really know what to do to say to start these intros, to intro these episodes. Wow. Sentences are fun, too. <laughs> anyway, yes, we're back here in One Way Bay, where things are actually going pretty smoothly lately. I mean, we really haven't had that many issues. Uh, well... Last episode, we definitely had some water issues. We still have some water issues back here, but I'm hoping that they resolve themselves because we did a couple tweaks uh, toward the end of last episode and improved the bank of this river back here. So hopefully, just hopefully, this kind of evaporates down here and we're going to be okay. But I'm not sure. Anyway, what are we doing in this episode? Well, I caught up with the comments on... Uh, the past couple videos, because remember I did the last one in batches, so, uh, yeah, we're kind of caught up. Uh, I had a comment that said, put the train station in here. We'll probably do that in this episode. That's a really good idea. Might as well just go for it, and I totally agree with that. Uh, somebody also said to go ahead and zone offices, because the demand for industry is also directly linked to offices, which is true. I was going through and I was looking. We really don't have that many offices in the area. Uh, I think Levels did it. Yeah. So I remember uh, putting these throughout here. This is pretty much the only offices. I mean, there's a couple here and there. Uh, basically, I didn't put offices down earlier because we didn't have a college at the time. So there was really no point because all of these offices need uh, highly educated workers. Uh, well... For the most part, there's a lot of highly educated people who need to go into offices. Uh, I'm not sure if it's more or less than... No, it's definitely less than oil industry, so that's interesting. So, yeah, we could totally put some more offices in. We just have to kind of pick out where to put them. I'm not really sure where we should put them. Um, maybe we should... Actually, you know what? We should probably replace some of the commercial that's down here because the mondo district has a ton of commercial so maybe we should take a strip out here and put in like um office space throughout here i think that's a good idea uh i could be wrong i'm not sure we'll just kind of scatter them around we'll uh try to incorporate them as much as possible so uh, i also had a really good comment that suggested to turn off dynamic weather because it'll help fps issues um and, of course, it rains in One Way Bay all the time. So, we did it. We have officially defeated the rain. No more rain in One Way Bay, I'm hoping. Um, although, you know what? To be honest, it gave the city a lot of character. So, maybe we'll turn it back on. I'm going to see how these next couple episodes go without the dynamic weather on. So, you know, hopefully uh, things look better. The game performs faster. And uh, we'll just... I don't know, have an overall better experience, but we'll see. Anyway, let's get into this. We haven't done anything yet, so let's go ahead and do something. So I guess the first thing is to put this train station in. Uh, we're going to put this right here. The space is already occupied. Yes, thank you for noticing. We'll go ahead and bulldoze the train lines there. I'm pretty sure we're going to... Oh, nope. We want this one. This should be good right there and then we should have enough money still to go ahead and put that through so did that train line find itself through again yes it did uh but i want to drag a stop so i want to add a stop there and i also want to add a stop off of this one to here okay cool so let's find a train there's a train right there we're gonna modify this line so okay so right now go away um, <laughs> right now the train starts here, goes here, stops, lets people on and off accordingly, then it goes into Pleasure Town, stops, lets people on and off, then it comes back, stops here again in Riverston, and then it ends up back where it started. So, we have, what, one train on the line? Two trains? Uh, one train. So we can definitely have two trains, um... Yeah, let's just let's go with two trains for now. I mean, if this starts to fill up, we'll check it later. But um, I mean, it's not that full at this point, and that train just spawned. It's kind of weird that we don't need to have a train yard, isn't it? I mean, for the buses, you have to have a bus depot. For the trams, you have to have a tram depot. 
but you don't need to have a train yard to link it up to a train. They just kind of appear. So I, I, I really wish they would put that in. That'd be a really cool feature. And then you'd have to place train yards. So, like, making separate little train lines would be a total, like, a totally different challenge uh, for planning. Because you'd have to plan to have the train yard in there. So, all right. We'll just kind of keep our eye on this. And we'll see if uh, there's people coming off the train and then going to the tram and this whole system. Hopefully it's functioning way better. Uh, but we'll see. How is this area doing? This is okay, I guess. This is a tr bus stop? Tram stop. No, that's a bus stop. Where does this bus line go? I don't remember. Uh, this one goes up to here. So yeah, this bus stop should probably... We should see less and less people going on that bus stop because they should prefer to take the train, I think. But we'll see. I'm not sure. Huh. Um... Okay, so I put some bushes in around Riverston. Really not that many, to be honest. The only, there was like one right here. I started like putting bushes around here because there was only one tree. And I was like, maybe I should do that for all of the squares. And then I was like, no, that's going to take forever. And I really don't want to do that. Uh, if you guys want me to, I can go through and do it. But, you know, eh. it really doesn't add that much to the game, I don't think. Or to the, uh, to the city. Um, but yeah. I wanted to put a parking lot here because this is a high school and high school students can drive cars to school generally um, so I'm thinking we put a parking lot here if I can find the parking lot as I'm talking yes the 4x4 parking lot here and then of course we'll take a path and then take this back to here and connect it up to here maybe not then Maybe not. Maybe we'll do this, and then we'll have to draw it out through here. No. This will join up, right? Yes. Cool. Very cool. Okay, so there. We have a parking lot for the high school kids, and then the elementary sc uh, schoolers don't drive, obviously. Maybe they'll bring their, like, little tight cars, those red cars with the yellow tops. Did anyone else have those as a kid? I did. Um... Yeah, they were plastic. They were a lot of fun. You could always, like, tip over and trap yourself in there. But, uh, yeah, when you got older, you tied them to bikes, and then you had, like, a relative, like, pull you around on the bike, and it was very dangerous. But, uh, anyway, uh, I got off on a tangent there. Uh, nostalgia. Anyway, um, the elementary school kids can just have this little, uh, grass space right here to, like, come out and play. I mean, they have, like, a swing set there, but they can also go right here. Hey, look at this. Someone has already parked here. Can I pick out their car? No. That's weird. Why can't I... Why can't I grab their car? Huh. Oh, well. Um. Yeah, I think Riverston is definitely booming at this point. There's really not much else to do in this, this area. Oh, actually, I lied. We should put a police station in. Oh, speaking of police station, as I try to find a freaking tree, there we go. I'm just gonna line the rest of this train track with some trees, and then maybe we should put like some small parking lots throughout here. Actually, I think that's a good idea. This one, or where's that? Isn't there a private? It says private parking lot. It's like a two first spacer. Uh, where is it? Where is it? It is this one? Yes. PVT Dragon Parking Lot. We'll go here, here, and throughout here. Boom. Look at that. Just some additional parking for that. I really need to go in... Actually, you know what? No, I have the double park. What am I doing? Um, where is the double park? Double park. Oh, look at all those people who came off the trams. That's awesome. Oh, the triple park actually would work really well for that. Actually, it'd work really well for right there, too. Not so much for there, though. Alright, is the double park smaller? Where is the double park? It's right here. Yeah, it's way smaller. So, I think we can fit one... It's five. Okay, so, basically, I want to have crossroads working through here, off this train track. So, I want to put a crossroad right here to the other district, and then probably have a crossroad coming back. Um, it's going to be really strange with the land there, but oh well. We'll flip this around like this. It'll be fine later. We'll add this later. Um, yeah, so that's my plan there. So maybe we put some more parking throughout there just to 
have some additional parking for the um, train station here. But uh, with the tram system set up, I don't think we're going to need that many parking lots around here. So let's go ahead and just put the double park in. That works for now. And then we'll put some bushes around it or something. Uh, trees will line the back, of course, just to continue that trend. Uh, and I'm thinking we'll line both ends of the train tracks down throughout this area because it's going to look really nice just having a, a train kind of hidden by the trees. I think that'll be a really good idea. And then, what do we want to do right here? Maybe put a shop in? No, because that's going to be a bar because this is the leisure area. So, I don't really want to put a train in there. They are already complaining about noise. So, oh, I uh, mentioned something and then I forgot to expand on that. When I was looking at this, I thought that we were, this was all the way over here, so I was like, oh crap, we don't have enough jails, but that means we have way too many jails. So, we're good for the prison, although I do want to set the prison up on this island, because that's going to be awesome. So, we're still going to do that. Um, not, it's not that pressing, I guess, uh, at this point, though. So, that's kind of a thing. Although, if you look at the city, there's really not that many police stations. So, there's people committing crimes, but they're not going to jail. So we don't have that many detained criminals. There are criminals in the city, that's for sure. Uh, can we get like a chart? Maybe we can get a chart of criminals. Where are criminals? Show me criminals! Um, um, prisoners? No. Okay, that's unfortunate. But, is there one in here? Yes, criminal activity. Yeah, the crime rate's 9%, so it's not that high. Uh, I just- I can never get it up over 10%. I think I've talked about this before. No matter how shitty I make my city, it never gets- I can't think of another rhyme. It never- there's never burglars. And, uh, I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing. So, I guess at this point it's a good thing, but if you want to unlock that whatever unique building that is, it's a bad thing. Where is that building? I think it's one of the easier ones to unlock. It's like one of... No, maybe it's not. Maybe I completely lied. Um, yeah, crime rate over 50%. I can't do it. I can't get it there. It's weird. Anyway. Um, what were we doing? I lost track. What were we doing? Oh, yes. The area down throughout here. Yeah, so I don't know what to do over here. Maybe we'll put another park in. Oh, and uh, Riverston. Yes, someone had suggested that... Hold on. Let me get like a plaza or something. A little park? Modern art? No. Baseball field? No. Um, something? Tiny. Uh, sure, let's do that little guy right there. That's fine. And then, I guess we'll put some little bushes around it just to make it look a little bit better. Uh, let me close that menu. And then, you know what, we'll put the big bushes through here. Uh, no we won't. That looks awful. We're gonna put some trees through here. That looks a little better. Although, I guess we could've used the smaller trees. And you know what? Let's just put the trees throughout here, too. Let's take that tree away, and take these trees right there. Cool. Small trees, breaks up the area. Nice little park for people to visit. Maybe someone will take the train in just to visit this. But, okay. Somebody had suggested that we do the tree paths throughout Riverston. And at this point, I'm gonna go for it. I, I think that's a great idea. Basically, anywhere that there are homes, I'm gonna do the trees, just because it's gonna add a little bit of property value around. I don't think, can I upgrade this? I can't upgrade that. Okay, so I have to be cognizant of if there are tram lines around um, on the street, because they cannot get upgraded, uh, because they'll just disappear, and then we'll have issues. So we don't want that to happen. Um, so unfortunately, any place with a tram is not going to be able to have the upgraded trees. Um, and then the trees down this way are just going to add to the tree line. I mean, I artificially put the tree line in, and now there are just like really small trees on the, on the street. But I guess we'll deal with it. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. All right. Okay, let's... This is just gonna take a second, guys. I'm... I know. It's, it's a lot of fun to watch. Okay, that guy got happy. Some of these people will be happier. 
I haven't seen a lot of happy faces going around, though. So I'm wondering if a lot of the people were already happy. I don't know. Okay, I think I got everything in there, right? Everything that's not a tram line and that is connected to a residential. And then all of this throughout here is fine. So why does it seem like my FPS is taking a tank right now? Huh. I don't know. Um, yeah. I think we're still okay. I, it, if the game gets down like 5 FPS, we are going to have some issues. But until then, I think we're okay. I mean, it's still playable, so... All right. All right. How are we doing? Um, hmm. I'm getting some high uh, CPU messages right now. Hmm. Yeah, we're, uh, I think we're officially getting this to the size where things are starting to get weird with my computer, which is going to be strange. And I'm not sure how I'm going to cope with it, so I don't know. Um... Yeah, what are what else can we do? We have a couple more minutes in this episode. You know what? I might cut this one short. I'm not sure. You know what? Yeah, let's cut this one short here. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. We didn't get too much done. We got Riverston pretty much hashed out, I think, for the most part. I have to go through and put some trees throughout here, line some bushes and the rest of this area. But I think Riverston is pretty much officially filled up. Well, I say that. This isn't over here. Um, yeah, let's put this in here. And then throughout here, nothing. And then over here, I didn't put anything because I wanted to put a parking lot here, but we'll see about that. I'm not sure quite yet. But we should put a police station in, and I'm going to put one right here. It's just the best place to put it because it's going to serve all of this area throughout here. And when it goes on, boom, it just covered... Basically, most of suburbia, and then all of Riverston, and it'll go out into this next little um, district that's going to go out there, so that's going to be good. Uh, all of these people throughout here should start to upgrade now. We should see that happen, and Riverston is pretty much, I think, almost filled up. I mean, uh, never mind. I thought there were three levels. There are definitely five for residential, so we could always tell it to do the high-tech housing, but uh, not sure about that. Alright guys, I think I'm going to wrap this one up. We got a few things done. The mini marathon is still on. Expect another episode tomorrow. So if this one wasn't up to snuff for you, hopefully the next one will be. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thumbs down if you hated it. And of course, until next time, I'll see you back here in One Way Bay. Stay tuned.